We're at the 2022 Olympian, and Anthony just got competing at the wheelchair Olympia, placing third. How do you feel at this year's Olympia? You brought an amazing package, but how do you feel? Uh, actually, uh, to be honest. Yeah, let's go. Let's be honest here, because you you were amazing condition. You brought the size condition. To be honest, is uh, I bring the package, but I think the, the judges they still have the problem to judge because always we talk about separation the mass and we, we should have the mass and the separation i see some of the guys they get the mass but they don't have the separation how kelly was very very good uh gabriel was very good and the other one but some of the guys they didn't they didn't have the the separation and you, you can find it exactly in youtube and this they talk exactly up how the, the bodybuilding how it's supposed to be you have the tree and then you have all the shoulders how's the separation between the shoulders and the back and the diamond the trapezes the biceps from the back suppose like slices on three or four and you have to have the the charisma this you agree yeah. so right. yeah so when you have the package we call it we call it giant killer or yes i am a giant killer yes do you think so yes I, 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 yeah anthony's physique is like an anatomy chart it's one of the most condi uh, not just not just built your bodybuilding, but the condition that he brings, he can beat most of the pro bodybuilders. <laughs> he can hang in the hang. And it's not just, it's not me saying, like the other wheelchair guys say it too. And then he can bring it. It's just, but you know, it's a very fierce, you know, fierce competition. And at times, Harold even thinks, like he was scared that you're gonna beat him. But as his physique is very beautiful, well-balanced, symmetrical, it's been at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it's not my opinion, it's the judge's opinion. Yeah. But this is But yeah. I think they still they have to know how the bodybuilding is supposed to be. Because when you see the back, I I was the most cut. You can see it. So, I was the most cut. In the front, I was cut. How he was cut? But Gabriel he was cut, but no one was cut as me. I can tell you like this. I don't have the mask, but they call me sometimes Joe Clon Von Damme, <laughs> whatever. Oh yeah, yeah. Joe Clon Von Damme. Yeah, but I can like to say like this. I have to criticize a little bit. Uh, this Monsieur Olympia was a little bit too quick. They're supposed to have us more and the sponsor to, to supposed to see us more. And uh, especially the time. For the time, we ha people have to see us. 45 seconds was not enough, to be honest. I don't know what you think about it. I know you're doing the, your best, and I, but it was too quick. It's like a glimpse of, it's like, I wanted more. I oh. want to have more action. And I've been competing for 10 years or more now. And this one was the shortest bodybuilding I have never saw. And it's, and it's this is supposed to stretch it because this one, we have been training for a whole year, not for 45 seconds. And uh, I can see, most of the guys they were surprised about it so, and surprised and if we make it shorter they were sad about it so as we as we bodybuilder or wheelchair class we're supposed to have more time as exactly as the other category like the bikini or men's physique did have they have their time but we were so quick it was and it's because so they normally have up to three minutes but with so many athletes not just wheelchair but overall, it was a, it's a time thing. But it's and that's still no excuse. But trying to do something like this, shows get stretched out. So this is where everything's being reevaluated because they, the Olympia, the IPB wants to give the athletes the time because they know they work you know beyond. And it's just one of these years that you know yeah. it's short and sweet. Because regardless of time, you show the world that yeah. you got the because hey, you know what you got third place. I have to dedicate uh, two for uh, two things. I have to dedicate the, uh, my sponsor, Mikael Johansson, who has been standing beside me. Uh, Johanna Johansson, she has been very much beside me. And all my family, I mean, the family of the sponsor, I mean, the whole team was super nice with me this year or and the, uh, last year. So I, I thank them very much. And, uh, and for my country, Algeria, this is my third uh, my medal for them. And I'm very, very happy for Algeria. They got that one, especially for me people. And I have to thank Nick Scott for all the job they have been doing. 
thanks to him and thanks to uh, uh, pre-worker, how do you call it, uh, his colleagues. They have been doing a nice job. I can see they are together. And every time I see them, I can see they, have, they bring the best uh, of them. Of them, And uh, I can see it's like they're joining the life uh, to help us and uh, go forward. And I, I am impressed about it, actually. I look forward to see more and more action. That's what I, I always am impressed about it. So keep in touch. Uh, and uh, how do you call it? Uh, we see we see you next year. <laughs> yeah. And you you can follow Anthony right there on the screen. And the whole thing is to expand this around the world, get more people, get more companies involved, so this can grow on a global scale. So people like Anthony from Nigeria, Gabriel from Italy, all over the world can come together as a one, as a brotherhood, so we can stick together, work together. But you heard it from one of the best of the best in the world, competing against eleven other the most intense lineup. You heard it first. Sign off, Gabe. Okay. Thank Anthony, you. Anthony, you did phenomenal. Thank you, thank you.